Sounds for action, and Red Jones is going to have his hands full on this one. We have a dating game survivor match for women, for men, and the winning woman and the winning man get to go on a date paid for by CWF Mid-Atlantic. This is going to be a crazy match. It's definitely a first for me. I am Amber Gertner, joined by Amber O'Neill. And Amber, have you ever seen anything like this? I haven't, and that's why I was so excited to help CWF to sponsor this event because it is definitely an original idea, and I'm all about originality. And right now, I'm seeing two arena chicks. Sassy Steffi, how about that fit she threw earlier, thinking that tonight was her big night to fight me? <laughs> she did not read the contract. She just signed it. Sign before you read, honey or you'll get knocked down just like Angel just did. Just knocked you down. And here comes Britt Force. <gasps> Brittany tagged in there and Angel giving her a little something. Without even Close line and a back elbow. And here comes that, oh. T-bone early. Wow, she is gonna try and make short work out of Brittany Force. I'm so excited for the just to see who is going to end up going on the date. I'm absolutely ready to see what this, the, the outcome of this match is going to be, Amber. Well, the uh, participants involved, in case you do not know, are Angel Orsini already in the ring, Brittany Force in the silver. We also have Davina Fly out there making her second Arena Chicks appearance. Yes, ma'am. Um, and Sassy Steffi, of course, where you, you've had plenty of battles with her in the past. Yes, I have. Um, Sassy Steffi seems to want... Oh, wow, we have our first elimination, Amber, not to cut you off. Amber Orsini is eliminated this early on. I can't believe that. That is, I believe, a shock Amber to Orsini everyone here. That is an absolute huge shock to me. I was thinking she'd be one of the last ones standing. Maybe she just doesn't want to go on a date. I don't know if I can blame her. As far as the guys in here, we have the Avalanche, Ben Tyler. That's a beautiful backslide from Davina Fly. I th she is young, but I think this girl is talent all day. She's beautiful. She looks amazing. She is quick. She's athletic. She's fast. And I think that we are going to see a lot from her in the future. Beautiful. Beautiful victory roll. She is really coming out like a ball of fire. She's just so spunky in there. I met up with her the first time at WSU. I was an immediate fan of her. She has a tremendous amount of respect, a tremendous amount of ability to want to learn, and tremendous amount of athleticism, and I want to see her do well. Ooh. And I do not like the dirty hair pull there from Britt Forrest, but you got to do what you got to do. Well, Forrest is definitely trying to make her name for herself. This is her first Arena Chicks appearance, first appearance in CWF Mid-Atlantic. And she is really trying to make a name for herself here. As far as the guys involved in the match, we have Avalanche Ben Tyler, the first, uh, the latest graduate from the CWF Dojo. And if you'd like to train to become a professional wrestler, please contact www.cwf247.com. Brett Force is making an impression on Arena Chicks right now because she is using every, every, everything she can. And here comes Sassy Steffi with the Dirty Devil play. You know what? That's what it's about, Amber. You have to make an impression, and these girls want to go on a date, obviously, tonight. These girls are definitely proud to be part of Arena Chicks, proud of what they're doing, and they want to make that name for themselves and solidify themselves as, as a strong competitor. We're seeing Sassy Steffi in there for technically the first time because she wasn't uh, really willing to get in there with Angel Orsini and mix it up. So this is really the first time that we're seeing Sassy Steffi in this match. I think she's definitely um, looking at Davina as the weakest link on the opposite team. So she's brave enough to get in there with her, but she doesn't need to underestimate her at any given time. Hair pulling. Nasty, nasty hair pull from Britt Forrest. And Davina Fly is certainly just taking a beating right now. We have yet to see any of the men in action here yet. On the other side with Sassy Steffi and Brittany oh. Force, of course, are creepy Cecil Scott and Michael McAllister. And let me tell you, Cecil Scott would like nothing more than to win this date, so I don't think he's ever had a date with a woman before in his life. Cross body by Davina Fly. I mean, she is on fire, Amber Gartner, on fire. I'm so impressed with Davina Fly. She is showing she belongs here in arena chess. Absolutely, O'Neal. That could have been a that could have been an easy three count had Sassy Steffi not gotten in there and broken it up. Absolutely. I expect that from Sassy Steffi and Britt Forrest. Um, Cecil does look like quite the creeper, Amber. I'm noticing this. Ma'am, you have no idea. <laughs> 
Wow. Beautiful from Brett Forrest. Beautiful offense by Brett Forrest. I'm not sure what you call that, but it was beautiful. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I only got a two. Oh, strong kick out by Davina. She is impressing me she by the second. She is a trooper. I don't know that I've seen anybody, any girl that's really been was able to withstand this beautiful oh. maneuver. Davina could have it right here. And gets three, and Brittany Force is out of here. Davina Fond eliminates Brittany Force. The little girl is on fire. Watch her go. Brittany Force has been eliminated. What are, are we? Wow. Davina tagged in Avalanche Ben Tyler, but you know what? Sassy Steffi decided to step in there. She thinks she can take him. Red Jones said they can go. Let him go. I'm always down for some energy uh, action in the ring. Well, Sassy Steffi says that she will take on anyone. Whoa, hair pull by Ben Tyler. She deserves it right this second. Oh, she, she may be getting what she deserves right here. Oh, says <laughs> no go. But Cecil Scott in there. I think that was just a clever ruse, Amber. It was very, very smart strategy. By the Cecil, Sassy Steffi, um, it looks like alliance that we see for him here well, it did. It was great double team work right there. You can't blame him. Lovely suplex by Cecil Scott. Beautiful. Oh, Cecil is such a creeper. I would, I tell you what, any one of my arena chick girls has, that if they end up having to go out with this guy, except for Sassy Steffi, I think that would make my night actually. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sure you want nothing but the very best for Sassy Steffi, knowing uh, the wars and battles that you guys have had all over the place, Ohio, North Carolina, everywhere. We have ripped it up. Michael McAllister the in there now with a few chops on the rookie, Ben Tyler. He is an impressive wrestler. If this is the first time uh, anyone's seen Michael McAllister in action, he is very impressive and very good at what he does. Looks like Steffi got in there and got a revenge, slapping Ben Tyler. Tagging back in Cecil Scott. And I, I have to say, Amber, I haven't seen Cecil this fired up in a match probably ever. And that's probably because there's a date on the line. There is huge motivation for him to do whatever he's going to do tonight to be the last man standing. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so interesting. Ben Tyler just in a really bad situation. His team... He is trapped. They are trying to get over there, but he is really in the wrong man's corner right now. They have isolated the ring. They are keeping him in their corner, and they're doing whatever they'd like with him, and it doesn't look good. Huge kick to the back of the head. Oh, oh, that, that could be devastating. This could be an elimination. Oh. Cecil only gets a two. I'm a little surprised there, but... Glad you could kick out. Well, the crowd is solidly behind Ben. Absolutely. He needs to muster up some gumption right now because he isn't going to be able to win like this. It is basically a three on one right now against Ben Tyler. This is a handicap match at the moment. Michael McAllister in there, of course, definitely uh, a skilled competitor. Been with CWF for many years, a former tag team champion. Yes. He is one of the most impressive people Amber, on the CWF roster. Now. Amber, listen to this crowd. They are getting into it. I'm so happy to see the CWF crowd getting behind. They want to see a date, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only getting a two. McAllister is working him over. He, uh, Mark, what is, I'm sorry. Ben Tyler. Ben Tyler. It's okay. He is staying strong. Well, he's got a lot of fight in him, a lot of heart in that kid. Yeah. He has impressed me quite a bit since he debuted. Impressing me right now. This is the first time I've actually had a chance to see him in action. Cool. When did he debut? He debuted at the Rumble earlier this year, made a good showing of himself. Okay. He's been wrestling several Project X shows. As I said, he's the most recent graduate of the CWF Dojo. Amazing. And he has got unlimited potential, if you ask me. I can see that as I'm sitting here. He is not a, he is not a quitter. That is what I see in this gentleman. He is not a quitter. He is a fighter. Michael McAllister whipping him into the ropes. Duck of the clothesline. Oh! Oh! oh. I believe that 
was supposed to be a flying Harakarana, but it was a Harakarana into the ropes, and it could be just as effective. It could. It looks like it, it was not only devastating to McAllister, but also to Ben as well. No doubt. We got some action going on with Rudy Lewis in the ring. Look. Oh. Double hip toss. <gasps> Beautiful acai moonsault by Ben. I could not tell if he got the knees, if uh, McAllister got the knees up. Um, it looks like Jeremy. I have to remember this kid. Ben, ben Tyler. Ben but Tyler. Why do I want to call him Jeremy? Ben call Tyler. Call him whatever you want. <laughs> Just call him the kid. He is impressing me right now. I could not tell him. Just he say got that the rookie knees. kid. Snap suplex by Rudy Lewis. Going for the cover, only getting two. Amber, I am a Rudy Lewis fan. Are you? I am a fan of Rudy Lewis. He can sing on demand and break it down, too. Rudy has definitely showed so much heart and potential, and you're right. He is a double threat, a wrestler, and apparently a karaoke singer. <laughs> He's definitely controlling McAllister at the moment. And certainly what a feather in the cap it would be if Rudy Lewis, if he were able to put away any of these gentlemen right now, especially somebody like a veteran like Michael McAllister. Who just pulled out an absolutely beautiful neck breaker. And the crowd is getting behind Rudy Lewis. They want to see Rudy Lewis do some damage. Needs the midsection by Lewis. A weak knee. It looks like Rudy Lewis is getting tired. He is definitely showing signs of fatigue. Maybe he did spend a little too much energy singing and dancing it's before the match got You know, started. that has been his Achilles heel. He has definitely, uh, at, he's definitely had that happen several times. Tagging in the freshman, Ben Tyler. Look at those beautiful kicks. Ben Tyler, I cannot not forget your name after seeing that beautiful, beautiful series of kicks there. So impressive. This kid is impressing me, Amber. I vote him to be the next big thing coming out of CWF Mid-Atlantic. I say... We have Three. an elimination. And Rudy Lewis pinned former tag team champion Michael McAllister. Bye-bye, McAllister. Cecil with a huge kick to Ben Tyler. This could be all for him. Amber, Cecil did not come here to play today. No, he didn't. <laughs> like I said, he has one thing on his mind, and that's chicks. Well, if whatever the motivation may be, homeboy is bringing it tonight. I know. We should have a dating game match every night. Whoa, are you what kidding? Are you serious? Do you realize what this means, Amber? This means... <laughs> I really don't know what this means right now. <laughs> it, mean, it means that Cecil's gotten one more victory than he's ever gotten in his life. Good for him. Now, which girl is he taking out? <laughs> well, we still have Rudy Lewis in there. Uh, and Rudy and Cecil are battling it out. You know what? I, have a, I really do believe that... Neither one of these guys seem like that they get a bunch of dates, so I think these guys are going to fight to a bloodfest. Yeah, Ben Tyler's a rather good-looking individual. I'm sure he can get a date without having to win a match, so it's no, you know, no problem with him. But these two guys, I'm not too sure about. Do you think Rudy's going to sing to the girl if he wins? I mean, if he doesn't win, maybe he should try singing, I mean, later. I don't know. He's going to be singing the blues if he doesn't win. <laughs> That's a good one. Rake to the Eyes by Cecil. Cecil is fighting as if he was fighting for his life. I've never seen him so alive. Shoulder tackle. Both men down right now. Yeah, this has been a long match. Everybody's seen action in there, and I'm sure everybody is showing signs of fatigue right now. Definitely, except for Davina and Steffi. Who <laughs> Steffi and uh, Davina out there kind of jawjacking with one another while the match is going on. Cecil to the outside. Looks like we could see a suplex here. <gasps> oh, he brings him back in. The hard way and the And Sassy Steffi holding down Rudy's legs so Cecil can get the pin. A little bit of dirty tactics on the part of Steffi. Very dirty. And Rudy is out of there, and that's... I'm just a little confused as what's... Go. So, oh, now we got to watch the two girls fight yeah, it out. Yeah, the girls have to duke it out. If I were Davina, I'd just get pinned. Are you telling me that Cecil is going to definitely get to go out? Cecil, absolutely. Sassy Steffi or the fantabulously luche sexy Davina Fly. So he is in a win-win no matter Cecil what. Cecil right now is the luckiest man in this building. I'd say he is. 
Go Cecil, go. And these girls are pretty darn unlucky. I wonder what they're thinking right now, Amber. Bless their hearts. I don't know, but I wouldn't be fighting to win this match. With the fight Davina's got in her, though, I see her doing it just to prove that she can. Absolutely. But honestly, Amber, I would just lay down if I knew. Does she even realize who she has to go on the date with at this point? I think these girls were just raiding to get a part of one another. I don't think that they were even thinking about that. Right now, for them, it's just a one-on-one -on -one match, I think. And you're right. Davina, are you kidding me? a stiff knee to the face. Are you kidding me? Sassy stepping. Look at this. Red Jones doesn't even realize what she's doing. He, unbelievable. He must. He is distracted, clearly. Amber O'Neill, I've seen some dirty tactics from you in your day. No offense, but nothing beats Sassy Steffi right now. That was an impressive suplex roll through. With Sassy Steffi, you can't take submission. anything away from her, Amber. She is a, an incredible competitor. Absolutely not. If anyone knows how tough that chick is in the ring, it's me. One of the most well-traveled individuals right now on the independent circuit. She has wrestled in England. She just made her Canadian debut all over the Midwest, down to North Carolina, WSU and Jersey All-Pro Women's out in New Jersey. Shimmer. Of course we can't forget Shimmer. She is just an incredible incredibly well-traveled athlete, and she definitely has the upper hand advantage going into something right now with Davina Fly. Up, once Davina gets moving though, I would not take your eye off. Absolutely her not. Karana. Davina's got a lot of heart in her. Nice, crucifix, roll up two. Only gets a two and I'm surprised. Davina is just really hanging with Steffi. I mean, I'm so impressed with this girl. Only standing four foot eleven, guys. I don't know if it reads on on TV, but she is she's a, a little petite individual. Very but, small package, but but a heart of gold. That was that's one of the most amazing maneuvers I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm is really surprised. To I'm, the neck. I'm really surprised Steffi didn't stay down. I can't believe that she is still up. Enzinguri into a neck hold submission. Very innovative. And she's got Steffi's number right now, only gets a two. She's going to keep trying. This girl's got a heart as big as Texas. I really, really, the crowd has gotten dead silent, but I really think it's just due to the action pack that they are seeing right now. These girls are going at it. Yeah, this girl, the crowd definitely is behind Davina Fly, that's for sure. Steffi going, oh. This could be all she Amber. wrote. Double hook and a pin, and Sassy Steffi wins the match. And you know what that means, Amber? She's going on a date with creepy <laughs> Cecil Scott. I got to tell you, I got, I've never seen so much fire as I have out of Davina Fly tonight, but I don't even know if Sassy Steffi realizes what she just got. Uh, well, Neil, I think she did right now. <laughs> Woo! How you feeling now, Steffi? You came here to fight me, and you're going out with Cecil. Congratulations on your win, girly. <laughs> well, happy dating, guys. Have a good day. Thank you, Amber Gardner, for having me. This is a real